Oh, look, Tenjo, you've been looking for a new automobile, right? Look, this is the Ford LTD. You should get one of these. Now, you could fit all kinds of animals in the back of this. Speaking of which, where did this one come from? It seems John Provost has lost his dog. No, she's, are you like babysitting the dog? Does he know that? It would appear not. I thought not. If he rings us, you tell him the dog's fine. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the show. Let us time, because uh, if we don't do letters, bad things happen to everyone, right? Like what? Well, I will yell at you because we did not do mail. Oh. You will yell at me for making you do mail. And uh, it's just all out chaos, right? Indeed. All right, give me a letter, Mr. Livingston. It's one from Margaret. Margaret. I love that name. Margaret Rasmussen. Where's that from? Hard to say. It's like Scotland, the Netherlands, right? Sweden? Scotland? No, it's Sweden, I think. Anyways, okay, let's see. Intro question. Love your show every week. During your intro that has different snippets of movies, there is a floating ghost woman screaming as she moves towards the camera. It's just before the Carrie scene. What movie is that screaming ghost from? That is from Dark Shadows, and there's a number of clips from Dark in our Shadows. intro from Dark Shadows. And secret thing, if you turn on closed captions, yes. right, during our introduction, the names you. of all the films come up underneath. And it's like a little, it's an Easter egg. I'm, call, I'm told that they're called an Easter egg. But it's not Easter. I know it's not Easter. That's why I don't know why they call It's not an egg either. So who knows? Anyways, uh, thanks for writing, uh, Margaret, and hope you have fun with that film. Next up, Mr. Livingston. Lance Schmidt. Oh, that's a nice name. You know, I bet you he's a knight or something like that. No, it's a, it's a, it's a no, worker's name. It's a worker's name. All right, well, a knight is a worker. He works for the king. He puts king. shoes on horses and things Ooh, like that. Right. Smithy. Right. Lance Schmidt, uh, greetings with a suggestion. Hello to all at Poulter Mansion and a big hello to Bodega Bay residents from Manitoba, Canada. I've been there, have you? No. It's a nice place. I happen by accident to your YouTube site and have been binge watching these classic horror films for over a month now. Perhaps even longer as one loses track of all reality when binge watching. You know, this whole thing about binge watching did not exist 20 years ago. What is it? Is this like a new phenomenon? Well, you can see more episodes of things at once now. Oh, is it, it's been an improvement in technology that created this. You don't have to wait a week or two. I don't know if it's a good thing, right? I mean, this poor bloke, he lives in Manitoba. He should be out hunting moose. Moose. Or whatever types elk of squirrels or... that they have in elk. Elk. Elk would be nice. Anyways, uh, he goes on. Um, I absolutely love the programs and hosts and your guests. I have a request. If you can possibly get the chance to air it, it's a movie I saw many years ago and have not been able to find again since. It was released in 1991 and stars Norman Fell and Phyllis Diller, an unlikely cast for a horror movie, and it's called The Boneyard. I'm sure many of your fans would like to see this movie. Thanks and all the best. Keep up what you're doing. It's great. Lance Schmidt. So, uh... The Boneyard, have you heard of this film? I have not. Are we going to look into it for Lance? Of course. Because it would not be right to, to not pursue a request from somebody named Lance. It's Lancelot, right? That's a thought. Right, he's Lancelot. That's probably, the Lance is his short name. Thanks for writing, Lance. Next up, Mr. Livingston, it's got a package. A package. A full-blown package parcel post. What have we got? Oh, it's got a letter. Is that dog all right? You know, maybe he wants to go home to his mother. Yeah, it's a cute little thing. All right, dear, this, who is this from? Bradford Grant Boyle. The man's got three last names. Indeed. That's interesting. Bradford Grant Boyle. Dear Vincent Tenjo Livingston, Bob Wilkins was popular in Salt Lake City too. See enclosed book. Fresh off the printing press. All right, let's take a look at this book. Written by Bradford Grant Boyle, of all people. Isn't that a coincidence? Quite the coincidence. The person who wrote this book is the same one who sent it to us. What are the, what are the odds of that? You never cease to astound me. Right, I try not to. All right, look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. So it's a book 
with mostly, uh, what do we have here? It's uh, looks like TV guide ads and uh, posters. And this is like a database of all kinds of horror films and things like that. And he bookmarked something here. What have we got? Creature features, right? I know the show, the 1970s version. And it says, often no second feature is listed. It's unknown if Double Nightmare. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, uh, he, he's got a wonderful book. Anyways, look for this in your local Barnes & Noble store, right? Of course. Because they sell books. And this is a book written by a man with three last names. Three last names. All right, last one. One more. From last. Castro Valley, California. You know, these, these poor people want to get back to the film, and you keep giving me mail. That's what we're supposed to do. No, we're supposed to serve films, not, not write-ins. Once oh, again. Enough. All right. Dear Creature Features, your show is pretty good. It's fairly stupid as well, but it is still pretty good. I was recently in Bodega Bay on business and made a half-hearted attempt to locate your Poulter Mansion. There was nothing that looked remotely close on my car's GPS. It seemed odd that I couldn't find such a large manor in such a small village. All of the locals I inquired with claimed they didn't know where it was. Every one of them seemed to be lying. What's up with that? James Bennett, Castro Valley, California. All right, James. Um, so um, on your GPS maps, um, so there's a company called Google that takes care of most of the map creation. They do that. Right, right. And uh, I was once a very large shareholder with Google, and I asked them to erase the house. No, it became problematic. People would, show, people would show up trying to sell us Mercedes Benz and things like this. They see a big house and they're like, oh, let's go to this big house with a Mercedes and we will try to sell them. And uh, I already have a Mercedes, so it became a problem. So there's that. And then all the locals I inquired with claimed they didn't know where it was. Every one of them seemed to be lying. They're not lying. They're just uh, being paid by me. Being private. To not forego that information. Uh, so that is uh, what is up with that. Thanks you, thank you, James, for riding. Next time you're in town, give us a call. Right? They can call us. That's right. All right, that's it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own, go to hellocreaturefeatures.com. It's a website that has a listing of things, like how to send us an email, how to send us a book in the mail, or if you'd like to send us a very large fruit basket, you'd find out how to do that there as well. We'll be right back with Mr. Tom Gundelfinger, but first let's get back to May Day at 40,000 feet. To my three favorite ghouls, you guys have the best show on TV. All the movies you pick are great and ghoulish. Vincent and Tangella love both of you. And my favorite, but nah. Got to love all the creature features. Thank you from Steve from Tarpon Springs, Florida. 